the actual theme of our show was women, typically, because this is still all about women month. <laughs> women typically in the household are the ones that handle the finances, but very few of them are the ones that are doing the investing yeah. uh, when it comes to, you know, retirement planning. What have to know the metrics are the women who are handling finances. Are they primarily? I don't have all the details, Jonathan. Well, I, I will say this. The, <laughs> I'm we, just asking, why do we think that is? There are a lot of female <laughs> widowed investors out there that do very well. No, I, I, Accredited I, I investors agree. that do very well. And, um, you know, we were trying to figure out why. But you know what I think it is? What? I think that most people. Ask to speak to the husband. Well, the, well ask the, but I was going to say, most people just leave the decision making of investing to their stockbroker or their their That's financial good manager. That's a good point. And it's, it's like, you know, oh, you know, not that women don't play golf, but it's like, oh, honey, did you go play golf with the financial manager? How are we doing? We're doing great. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, you know, I think maybe perhaps it's, oh, it's uh, the husband's taking care of it, but is he? Yeah. He's not. Yeah. Well, he's not doing if anything. he's smart, he's asking his wife what needs to be done. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell you right now when I have an appointment with uh, somebody that wants to invest in our fund, mm -hmm. I, I want both spouses on the phone right. at the same time. Right. Because yeah. the wife I, always has I, questions. I, 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 they are typically the most detailed yes. and they ask the most detailed questions. Mm -hmm. yep. And the, uh, and again, this is not a stereotype, but it uh, generally men tend to be big picture people and women yep. tend to be more detailed. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a different level of, of risk tolerance too for, you know, for everyone, you know, where, you know, typically I would say men have more of a, predisposition to be risk takers right. than women do. But there, I know a lot of women who are, who are well, risk takers. Well, that's my household. Yeah, you're, my, you're my a risk taker. the security guy. Yeah. He likes, he likes it's balance, right? You got to yeah. have one and yeah. the other. Like, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, to speak to, you know, having the, you know, both spouses on the phone, one of the things that uh, impressed my wife the most was when we were, we were talking about, me joining you all here. Mm -hmm. The first thing that you asked was, Hey, can you and your wife join us on the phone call? Mm. You know, and so that's, it's a very, well, we really knew who was making that decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's because it, it's, it's, it's the way that we like to do things yeah. here and the way you all it's have always move. done things. Yeah. yeah. Um, we want to involve those, but when, when everyone is in lockstep, when the spouses are in lockstep, mm -hmm. whether it's investing or new businesses or whatever the case may be, being in lockstep is a much better place to be. Yeah, life is much easier, folks. So if you're mm -hmm. not doing that, pick it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs>